Hey, I think you all are going to get a kick out of this interview. Yeah, I know, it's a terrible pun. We got a full bevy of Wanakee Warriors in the house right now to talk some Wanakee soccer. We are talking with Andrew, Kurt, Case, Evan, Mark, and Sam. They are seniors and captains over at Wanakee for the soccer team. And fellas, welcome on into the sports news and let's talk some Warrior soccer. How has the regular season gone so far for you guys? Oh, it's been great, but it's been a, a little bit up and down so far. At the beginning of the season, uh, we were riding a six-game win streak, but unfortunately, a lot of our players, including some key starters, suffered injuries. But uh, over these last few weeks, we've returned. Those, are play those players have returned, and we're uh, hoping to get some momentum going into playoffs in these next couple of these next couple of weeks. Yeah, you talk about you know losing some of those players. That's obviously a setback. What other setbacks, bumps in the road have you guys had so far this season? Uh, like Andrew said, we've lost the several of the players, including a couple of starters. Um, fortunately, we have a lot of depth on our team this year. So some of the young guys have really stepped up. And even through those games, we've played some top tier teams. And with the younger guys, they've really performed. Always good to have those guys step up, step into new roles. It's a next guy up kind of mentality. You usually hear that in football. Now you get to see it in soccer as well. Let's talk about improvements that you guys have made. So as seniors, sometimes you can draw some of your experience and look at it. How you guys have gone from practice number one to where you are now, what are some of the big improvements? Well, one of the setbacks we started with was we lost a lot of seniors going into this year. So we had a lot of new people that weren't really used to playing at this level along with our, all of our players. So. As the season went on, um, the younger players kind of stepped up, like Kurt was saying, and got a lot more comfortable playing and comfortable playing with the players that returned. So that was definitely the biggest improvement in my eyes. Absolutely, chemistry can do so much for a team. And so you guys get a chance to bond and grow then together. Now, as seniors too, you've been on a few of these teams. How does this year's team compare to some of the other teams you guys have been on? Well, previously our team has lacked in chemistry and slight motivation. This year, however, our team chemistry is better than it's ever been before. We all like each other, we bond a lot as a team, and we push ourselves to do our best on and off the field. We're not just a team, we're a family, and that's something this organization hasn't had in a long time. Wow, that kind of mentality actually can take you a very long way. And so with the playoffs then coming up, how do you guys expect that you're gonna perform in the playoffs? Well, as we head into playoffs, Next week, um, some of our players are returning from injuries. That should provide us with a stronger starting lineup and a better depth. Also, some of the tough competition that we've been playing throughout the year has prepared us for the weeks to come and hopefully we'll come together as a team and put up some competition of our own. Absolutely, steel sharpens steel, fellas. So thank you so much for being here. Good luck in the playoffs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A special thank you to Conan Automotive in Stoughton for supporting local athletics.